The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Now we're going to see what happens when the beam going into the cavity is an expanding beam. What we've done, we've added this lens to the setup so that the beam leaving the lens is an expanding beam. And I don't know whether you can see it that well uh, on the card, but the beam is an expanding beam. It goes into the cavity, and the transmitted beam is then goes to the, to the screen over there. And if we can see it in close-up, we can see that we, we have rings instead of the spot that we had before. And as the cavity length changes, the diameter of the rings uh, change as, uh, as you can see in the, in the insert. Just as a special treat for you, we're also going to look at the reflected light from the cavity. Again, we've added this beam splitter here so we can sample the light and then we'll go from the beam splitter onto the smirror onto, onto the screen. Now, the spot on the left is the associated with the reflected beam and the spot on the right is that associated with the transmitted beam. Now, you can see that there are rings, both of them are rings. In the, in the transmitted beam, the rings are bright. In the reflected beam, the rings are dark. Now what I'm going to do is take off the scan and do the scanning by hand. Now let's go back and look at the, at the two sets of rings. You can see as I push a little bit, you can see that the one on the right, let's say when it goes bright, the one on the left is dark. I can also do it by applying a voltage to the piezoelectric crystal, again by hand and vary it by hand. And you can see here that, again, the one on the right, I can make the central spot bright. You can see the one on the left or the reflected beam is dark. And when the transmitted beam is dark in the center, the reflected beam is bright. So indeed, they're opposite one another. Now, the interesting thing is, first of all, is why do we have rings? And also, why the uh, behavior is, is as shown? And again, this is left to you to think about. In the next demonstration, instead of using a plain parallel cavity, as we've used so far, we're going to use a cavity with curved mirrors. And I assure you, it has lots of interesting things for us to learn from.